It is Thursday the 8th of February. Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us. We've got a lot to talk about because even though New Zealand's weather is actually looking quite settled for the next week or so ahead, a lot of high pressure on the way, we do still have some cold fronts coming through and bringing a bit of rain to the south and temperature drops as well. And also up in the tropics, we've got two or three low pressure zones and two of them are tropical cyclones, although they don't pose a threat to New Zealand. Let's have a look at the moment and see what's going on though in the New Zealand area, that high in the Tasman moving in towards us. And of course, there's a southerly flow before it comes in because the airflow is anticyclonic around it. So temperatures are dropping. Uh, we've had 36, 37, even 38 degrees recorded this week in New Zealand. That's going to change as that cooler airflow comes on through. So the South Island definitely seeing a temperature drop today and the North Island will get it at some point uh, as we go through Thursday or overnight tonight. We've also got these low pressure zones up in the tropics. This one here is not a cyclone, although the computer modeling just keeps trying to find it um, forming into one at some point. So whether it happens in 10 days time from now or 14 days time from now, it's possible. We're keeping an eye on it. But these two over here, are the cyclones. So let's have a closer look at them. Now, this could change by the time you're watching this from when we recorded it on Thursday morning here in New Zealand. But tropical cyclone Nat is falling apart and tropical cyclone Osai, this one over here, newly formed and named by the Fiji Met Service this morning. So as Nat moves along past Papaiti and Tahiti, some gale force winds just brushing you. It's moving away from Bora Bora as we go through today, but it passes through the capital as we go through the next sort of 12 to 24 hours to the south of you though and it is weakening as it does so but it was category one when we recorded this so dangerous seas fair bit of rain around and certainly uh, very humid now the other storm osai also tracking mostly out at sea but the cook islands are very nearby so it's worth keeping an eye on because it may still bring in some rough uh, sea conditions around you and some rain and thunder as well. Just worth keeping an eye on, but also that one is likely to fall apart in the next couple of days. So they're kind of like twins, both similar strength, both similar sort of out at sea and not really posing too much of a serious risk to most places. Let's have a look at the New Zealand forecast on Friday. So that cooler change moving up the country sort of gets um, wiped away, the southerly does, by the high pressure zone that moves in over the top of it. So it comes in, southerly gets pushed out over the Chathams, but it curves around as an easterly. So that's why your temperatures are down in Gisborne and Wairo and um, Hawke's Bay, I should say, down towards Wairo and Upper. You'll be seeing a, a drop in temperatures, more cloud and some patchy rain and showers. There might be an isolated heavier fall further inland. And then we've got a nor'east flow coming down here on the eastern coastline producing cloud and potentially some drizzle patches or a light shower or two. It's mostly dry though, but that's the setup. On the other side, it is also dry. And for the Western North Island, still quite warm as that airflow comes in across land. As we go into the weekend, here comes the next cold front, another one coming out of the Southern Ocean and it's around the next high pressure zone. So these highs moving very quickly at the moment. Normally in summer, they're slow like following a caravan up a hill. But at the moment, they're tracking along pretty quickly, which means the next cold front comes in. And yes, the blue line means temperatures are dropping. There'll be a light dusting of snow on the mountains and probably some complaints from the lower part of New Zealand saying, is this the end of summer? Because we're seeing these cold fronts more and more often. We do think there's more summer weather on the way, so don't be too worried. Next week does look a lot more settled, but we are seeing these uh, changeable conditions more and more. And as we head towards the middle to later part of February, the autumn weather pattern does start to wake up for places like the lower half of the South Island and Tasmania. So to the north, you've got a few showers around on Saturday, nothing too major in there. And by Sunday, it's kind of cleared off. The southerly change moving up to the eastern side. So you've got that southeasterly flow coming back in again. Everyone notices the temperature drop by Sunday. It's not necessarily cold. A lot of you will probably say it's quite refreshing and the skies dry back out again because that next high is rolling on in and it rolls in for Monday with a couple of isolated showers here and there, a little bit of shower activity in Fjordland, but nothing much, mostly dry even in our rainforests. But you can notice there's a Norwest flow here coming out of Australia. So by Tuesday, the high smack bang over the top of New Zealand. And if you live in Southland, that hotter airflow starts to come back in again and it moves into Otago and then Canterbury as we go through next week. And yes, there's another cold front here, but there's another high after that. 
So we are getting into a bit of a changeable pattern now where we're seeing high pressure and then a little bit of a break in it and that allows a weak cold front to come in and then more high pressure behind it. Also on this last map, low pressure up here in the tropics. I talked about that low in the Coral Sea, but look at this, whole area is low pressure. And you'll find at some point, one of those areas of low pressure will kind of carve out their own area and that's when we might see a tropical cyclone. So I think as we go on towards the middle to later part of February, we're not done with the tropical cyclones. Actually, the cyclone season goes through till the end of April and March is when our sea surface conditions are at their warmest. And uh, so that's a high risk then of tropical storms and tropical lows. So we're keeping an eye on that, but the high pressure bout coming out of Australia, that is still the dominant force for New Zealand. That's all from me for today. Don't forget we've got our seven day Australia only forecast out. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow Friday.